Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. Today we are doing a pick a card reading and we're focusing in on the toxic people in your life and how to deal with them. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel that we have all had toxic people dust us with their poison. And sometimes it's more like a drenching, right? Am I right? All right, so today we are going to look deep into what is going on, who is in our life, how they're toxic, and how we can deal with them. Now, being able to spot their harmful behavior is a first step to minimizing their impact. You might not be able to change what they do, but you can change what you do with it. And any idea that toxic somebody in your life might have that they can get away. So whatever idea a person has in their mind about you and how they can get away with treating you a certain way is not right. I want everyone to know that right now. So if you don't feel good because of the way someone is treating you, it's probably because they're treating you in a very bad manner. Okay. And this could be someone at work this could be a loved one uh, a relationship you know it could be your partner it could be your child even some I have teenage or not teenage I have adult daughters my daughters are beautiful and wonderful so I don't have to deal with that but I do know people in my life whose adult children or even teenage children are toxic and then you have cousins siblings parents friends there's so many people that can be toxic in our lives and recognizing their behavior and the way they treat you is the first step in dealing with how to kind of maneuver or figure out how to maybe even get rid of toxic people in your life how to deal with them and how to cope with them okay so we've got four cards to choose from i've got card number one here protect your boundaries with yellow citrine Card number two, use your power with rose quartz. Card number three, clear away old energies with the green citrine. And card number four, have courage with amethyst. Now, I've got some noise in the background, and that's because there's some construction trucks for some reason. The last two, three weeks, they've been kind of randomly showing up in front of my house and making all sorts of noises. So I apologize for any noise that you are hearing. Um, I'm not going to allow that to stop me from doing what I'm doing. So I will have timestamps for everyone in my description box here. So as I always say, everyone, use your intuition to help guide you to a card or a stone. And you're not limited to just one card. If you feel like your heart is calling you to more than one, please choose those cards. You can choose one, two, three, or all four. Whatever it is, wherever your heart guides you, pick that. All right? So everyone, let's get right into it. Hello, those of you that chose Protect Your Boundaries in Yellow Citrine. This is your reading. So that is the stone you chose. We're gonna leave it here for its energy. And let's take a quick look at the card that you chose. Isn't that beautiful? So this here, pile number one, is all about protecting your boundaries, okay? So we're going to leave this right on this corner here. And I like to reference the card decks guidebook for the meaning and then tie the whole reading together with my own intuition. So this card deck is with Wisdom of Hafiz, and I'm just going to read and see what this card is all about. All right, everyone. So protect your boundaries. Your boundaries, pile number one, are part of life's birthright, but they must be carefully cultivated and consciously guarded. Just as an ungated garden is open to predators, so too is our energy when it lacks a strong container. Be watchful, pile number one. Be generous with your energy, but equally generous to your own life force here, okay? So be careful who you give your energy to at this time, especially if you are watching this reading today, okay? Your spirit guides are letting you know your energy 
should not be shared with too many people, especially toxic people in your life, okay? So I'm going to use my crystals. I'm going to incorporate crystals and tarot cards in this reading here to bring out. I've got flower petals here as well. So we're going to see exactly what kind of toxic person or toxic people that you're dealing with at this time in your life. So spirit guides, please show or reveal. And I feel some of you already know who this person, who this person is or people are in your life. Now, okay, spirit guides, please show pile number one, my viewers, who and what kind of personality type they are dealing with and how we can go about this. All right here, pile number one. Let's see. Spirit has to show you. Wow, okay. Whoops, I dropped my book. All right, so give me one moment here while I tune in with uh, my spirit guides and see what we've got. So I'm seeing that. Wow, okay, there's two types of people that you're dealing with here. I feel like there is a master manipulator. Yeah, there's someone that's manipulating you. And I feel like you might know that this person is doing what they're doing. And then I have another person that never apologizes. Okay, they behave a certain way. Maybe this is the same person, but I feel like there's two different people here in your life right now that are toxic that you really need to... Um, address or get rid of in your life. I feel like I, I'm feeling that the manipulator personality type that's in your life right now is the one that you need to definitely um, cleanse yourself from for sure. And the one that doesn't uh, ever own up to their mistakes or never apologizes is someone that you can maybe talk to and see where you can get with them. Uh, letting them know how you feel and communicating you know, their behavior, um, I feel like they reflect a lot. There's, I'm seeing reflection, or not reflection, sorry, projection. One of these people project onto you quite a bit, actually. And I feel like this could be, wow, for some of you, I feel like it might be a partner. And for others, this might be another person in your life. It could be a friend. It could be possibly a family member. I feel like it might be a family member, maybe... Huh. Could it be a parent? Okay, I'm getting a family member and some I'm getting two people here. This could be either a really close friend or a family member and a partner. Partner or coworker or something like that. That's what they're showing me here with this. And I feel the yeah, the family member part, that connection is pretty close, okay? So, okay, we're getting one that, okay, so the, so the person that is, okay, I've got somebody that never apologizes. Okay, they'll lie before they ever apologize. So there's no point for you to even argue with them. And I think you know this. Okay, they'll twist the story, change the way it happened, and retell it so convincingly that they'll believe their own nonsense, okay? Now, people don't have to apologize to be wrong, and you don't need an apology to move forward. Just move forward and without them, okay, pile number one? Don't surrender your truth, but don't keep the argument going with this person. There's just no point dealing with them because they're, they made up this story in their mind and they now believe it, okay? And some people want to be right more than they want to be happy and you have better things to do than provide your, you know, provide your attention for the, for, for this type of personality and I feel like this person's a grand storyteller. Wow, okay. This person's a grand story. Whoever this person is, I feel like this is a family member in your life right now. And they're a grand storyteller. And I think everyone around them know that they are kind of uh, making up stories. And I feel this person also, um, 
it's almost like you will tell them good news. So if something good happens in your life, they almost don't, they don't share the joy in things that are happening with you in your life. Okay. And they'll find reasons your good news isn't great news. Okay. So for example, if you had a promotion at work, the money isn't that great for the amount of work you'll be doing. Um, but it's still a promotion, but they're going to focus on the part about the money and bring that, turn that into a whole big thing. And then you've got the manipulator. Okay, so I feel like if you feel as though you're the only one contributing to this relationship, whether it's with a partner, um, I feel like you do a lot and they don't do as much. You're pulling more weight and these, this person's kind of taking, I feel like they're taking advantage of you. And the feeling that you're getting uh, about them not contributing to this relationship, you are right. So toxic people have a way of sending out the vibe that you owe them something. And this is how I feel like this person is making you feel. They also have a way of taking from you or doing something that hurts you, then maintaining uh, then maintaining that they were doing it all for you. Okay, it's all for you is what this person continually says to you. They did it because of you. It's your fault because they behave that way because they're trying to make you happy. Okay. And it's always the wrong thing. And it's kind of like you didn't say you had a birthday and you ask for something specific because they asked you what you wanted for your birthday. And then they went ahead and got something completely different. But then they thought they were trying to please you by doing something extra or bigger or grand. And you're like, um, this is not what I asked you. I told you specifically because you asked me specifically what I wanted. Then I told you, but then you went ahead and did something else. But now it's my fault because now your feelings are hurt because you tried to do something nice for me. But that's not even what we... Uh, it's like this cycle. This like circle that you're kind of always going on with this person and yeah there's two people whoa okay yeah hmm I feel like the balance of power is out for you in this relationship this might be um either a partner this manipulator is a is your partner or a best friend Okay, the liar, the one that um, makes grand stories is not, that's a close family member. But this manipulator is either your partner or a best friend, I feel like. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like they put a lot on you. It's like they were supposed to do things but then because their life is more important than yours they put the onus on you and then things end up being your fault okay so that's what i'm getting here with this and this is why you need to protect your boundaries here pile number one okay because i feel like you give a lot of energy to these people and uh, this partner or best friend, this manipulator person is a piece of work. I'm sorry, but this person is clearly knows what they're doing. And um, they're, they are fully aware that they're taking advantage of you and your kindness. Know that. And spirit guides are asking you to have the strength to stand your ground and protect your boundaries at this time. Pile number one. Okay, protect your energy. You are guarded by your spirit guides. Ask them for help. If you don't want to do something and someone's forcing you or putting the onus on you or making it seem like it's your fault because you're hurting someone's feelings or this person did it for yourself, you need to stand your ground and let them know. Okay, rip them a new one. I'm sorry, that's what Spirit Guides just said to me. Rip them a new one. I just feel like you're being bullied. And I feel like you've worked very hard to get where you are. You've worked really hard in this relationship. Um, 
even with the family members, I think you put a lot in here for, you know, your energy. You put a lot in here, pile number one. You give a lot. And I feel like this relationship that you're in where you're being manipulated and this liar person that makes grand stories, you've been around these people for a very long time. And you worked very hard to keep these connections um, happy. You're very nurturing towards these people. And I feel like you're a very strong person, but I think these toxic people just um, have a way with you. And look at that. In the end, what's going to happen is you are going to be hurt by these people. I feel like you already are hurt by these people. But it's going to be a lot of pain and it's going to bring... And I feel that you do deal with a lot right now. You do deal with a lot of pain. And maybe you don't share this with them, but you... I'm seeing a lot of crying. I'm seeing pain. I'm seeing that your heart hurts. And that's why spirit guides are letting you know to have strength. You need to cut this manipulator out of your life, okay? There's no point dealing with them because this is how they are. And you really need to put some boundaries up. And that is how you deal with them is put healthy boundaries, okay? Because this person isn't going to stop. And you don't owe them anything. Okay, you don't, you don't owe them anything. I feel like this person makes you feel like you owe them. But you do not owe them. So stop trying to please them. Pile number one. Toxic people figured out a long time ago that decent people will go to the extraordinary lengths to keep the people they care about happy. And this person knows this about you. If your attempts to please aren't working or aren't lasting for very long, maybe it's time to stop boundaries walk away and come back when your mood has shifted you are not responsible for anyone else's feelings if you have done something unknowingly to hurt somebody ask talk about it and if need be apologize but in any rate you shouldn't have to guess okay i feel like you're constantly playing guessing games with this manipulator but I feel like this person has been doing this to you for a very long time. And you've put a lot of effort, a lot of work into this relationship here. And the family member, unfortunately, because they are your family member, you kind of have to deal with them. But truly, honestly, you don't. I feel a lot of people think because they're a family member, you can cut family members off. You don't have to talk to them. Okay, so right now, set your boundaries, set some healthy boundaries and have some strength is what spirit guides are asking of you here today, pile number one. So that, my friends, is your reading. If it resonates, please comment below. And if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. And I just want to wish you a wonderful day, pile number one, and remember to protect your boundaries. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, those of you that chose card number two, use your power and rose quartz. This is your reading. All right, so spirit guides are asking you to use your power, pile number two. Now this card is from Wisdom of Hafiz. And what I like to do is use the definition of the deck's book and then tie the whole reading together with my own intuition. And in today's reading, I will be using my crystals and I will be using rose uh, petals here for bringing a message to you today. So let's go and see what uh, Use Your Power is all about here, pile number two. All right. So truth, true strength comes from vulnerability. Your power, therefore, is at its zenith with when you own all of your experience truthfully. When you forgive yourself and others and speak your truth without shame or fear, you grow fierce with reality. So look at this. Look at this tiger. So use your power pile number two in any situation that you are in because I feel like people might say or do things to you and 
you're very aware of the manipulation and the tax tactics that they use on you and you're very smart you're very knowledgeable okay you're a very wise person and i think you see through a lot of people here pile number two all right you are someone that knows exactly what's going on even though you don't show people that you know you know and you keep it to yourself but you see the behavior of those around you and you kind of keep it in your memory bank just as a, a guidebook for the people in your life and who you can and cannot trust. That's what I'm getting here. Very powerful, very wise, very knowledgeable. I feel like you read a lot of books. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. A lot of books. Okay, so spirit guides, what do pile number two need to know? Who are these toxic people in their life? They want me, well, sometimes I'll get one stone that, you've got one person. It's one specific person that you need to be aware of is what spirit guides are letting you know. I feel because you are so smart and you are very aware and to really use your power, which I feel that you do, but this one specific person gets away with a lot, hey? Eh? Mm, who is this person? All right, give me one moment here while I tune in. All right. Okay. I'm feeling a, a person that's kind of always ex exaggerating situations. I'm getting you always, you never, like shouting out, you always, you never do this, you always do it that way. And I feel like it's a manipulation tactic, right? It's hard to defend yourself against this form of manipulation here, pile number two. Toxic people have a way of drawing on the one time you didn't or the one time you did as evidence of your shortcomings. Don't ever buy into these arguments. You won't win and you don't need to. I feel like you're somebody that's kind of like, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, cool story, bro, but I'm not into that. Like, whatever, blow up all you want. I feel like you walk away from a lot. But you allow this person, whoever this person is, I feel like this person's very close to you. This could be a parent figure, okay? This might be a mom or a dad. This is someone close to you. It could be a partner, a love partner, but I feel this is more of a family member. Or maybe this is your child. If you have children and they are going through this uh, teenage or adult phase, this person over-exaggerates. And you kind of know this. And this person is very toxic in a way. Okay? I feel you do a lot for this person. A lot. Okay? And I feel like they are very judgmental as well. And, you know, sometimes... I feel like sometimes you'll get things wrong. Which is normal. That's normal in all humans. And this person will make sure that you know that you're wrong and they'll make a point to overly exaggerate it even to the point where this person tells other people about how you are wrong because you're such a such a strong person such a strong um part of this person's life and it irks them that a lot of, the, you know, I think a, a lot of times you are correct, but if you get something wrong because you didn't have all the information, this person is going to make sure that you know it and everyone in that area knows it. I feel like this person is very loud. Okay. And they'll judge you and take, take a swipe at your self-esteem, suggesting you're less than because you made a mistake. And we're all allowed to get it wrong now and then, but unless we've done something that affects them, nobody has the right to stand in judgment. Okay? So just for you, pile number two, knowing the favorite go-tos for this person, this toxic person, will sharpen your radar, okay? 
making the manipulations easier to spot and easier to name. Most importantly, if you know the characteristic signs of this toxic person, which I feel like you're very knowledgeable and you know, and you know the trigger points as well, you have a better chance of catching yourself before you tie yourself in double knots trying to either please them or trying to diffuse the situation. But I feel a lot of the times you're kind of at a point where you're just done and you know that this person is going, you know, it's going to happen the way it does. And sometimes it blows up no matter what. And... Jeez, I, I feel for some of you, this might be your child or like a family member, like a parent figure or an uncle or an aunt. Oh man, and if you, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like this person has been in your life for a while now and yeah, they're just a piece of work. I feel like this person can't be pleased no matter what you do. And I feel like this person isn't good for you. And, I, and, and that's because many times, the many times that these things happen, this scenarios happen this, with this person, you can't, there's nothing you can do with it. There's really nothing because this person is so, so toxic. But you can always remember, you can always say no to any unnecessary crazy. And be confident and own your own faults and your quirks and the things that make you shine. Okay? That's how you go about it. You don't need anyone's approval. But remember, if someone's working hard to manipulate, it's because they they need your power. And you don't need to give it to them. And I feel like they're trying to... It's almost like an energy vampire. Because this person knows that you're a very strong person. And that's why they come and attack you. And that's why things blow up the way they do. Because you are very knowledge knowledgeable, you're very wise, and you're very smart. And I feel like there's jealousy around that. There's some major jealousy. And I feel, yeah, for some of you, this might be your child. Or this is a parent. Okay, I feel like this person is a part of your world and has been for a very long time. Okay. And you see this person and you've seen this person growing up. You've seen this person either while you've been growing up. You've been watching and, and you've, you've kind of learnt their behavior. But you know, there sometimes comes a point in your life where you just need a break even and just detach yourself from this personality type. Okay? Because you don't, you don't need this in your life. I feel like this takes a lot out of you. It drains your energy. It's just so draining and exhausting to have to go through this all the time. This person is such an energy vampire. And I feel like this is... Yeah. I feel like you're afraid of things getting really... Hitting rock bottom if you say something. So you're kind of... The power that you hold right now, so spirit guides are letting you know, to use your power, use your wisdom, use your life experience, use your knowledge to maneuver around this person. Because this is someone I feel that you want to keep in your life. Okay, so to deal with them and not break your home or to have anything come to like a, like a tower, like a sudden sudden change right so I mean with this person acting the way they are I feel like there's been points in your life where you have felt like you know what I am so done I don't even care what happens I don't care if our family breaks up I don't care what happens this person has brought you to almost tower moments where things were suddenly you were just gonna do that sudden action because they irked you or they struck a chord but I feel like you've used your power and spirit guides are letting you, you know, to continue using that power. But you don't have to keep someone like this in your life. You can cut them off. But I do feel like there's that fear of that sudden change of things like totally changing in your life if you were to act upon your feelings. But I feel like you manage this person really well. But this person is just this constant energy drainer, every little thing just 
irks them and I feel like you're protecting them as well. You're very protective of this person. So for a, a majority of you, this might be your child and you're trying to just be a protective parent. And for some of you, this might be your parent, right? And that's why you are protective. And I feel like you're almost trapped. You feel trapped in this situation and you can't get out when this, that's what I'm getting here, that you feel trapped especially when you're going through this argument, this back and forth, this energy draining. It's like you're going in circles and it's just you have, a, and I, I'm getting this right now, I'm feeling your energy of when you're having to go through this. It is draining and exhausting. There's so much stress and I feel like for a lot of you, this is affecting your health. Okay, so because it's affecting your health, maybe just limit the amount of time you spend with this person. Try to um, detach from them a little bit. You know, maybe baby steps. Just take them in little doses, right? If you don't want to cut them out completely. But I feel like you need to do that for your own health and your own sanity. Okay? So there you have it, pile one. If, or sorry, pile two. If this resonates for you, please comment below. I would love to hear all about it and if you're enjoying my video please hit that like button and if uh, you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my readings please consider subscribing. Other than that I wanted to wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Hello those of you that chose pile number three or card number three and green citrine this is your reading here so let's Put that stone here for the overall energy. So your reading here, pile number three, is all about clearing away old energies. Clearing away old toxic friends. I'm getting that right away. Look at that. I feel that you have a toxic friends around you. Some of these friends might have been with you for a long time. And um, right away, yeah, I'm getting that... I'm feeling some close friends that you got in your life. There might be one specific one here, but I do feel like it is a best friend. Okay, this best friend. So I'm using this deck. This is Wisdom of Hafiz. And what I like to do is reference the guidebook for this deck and then use my own intuition to tie everything together. So I'm going to go to number 38 and see what this card is all about here for you. Pile number three. So clear away old energies. It's time to clear away the old energies. Just like giving away clothes that no longer fit or clutter that no longer serves your home, so too we must clear away energies that have run their course. Forgive, especially yourself. The plates you keep spinning over your head all the time, let them fall to the ground. Consider which ones are truly worth, worthy of your attention and energy right now and let all else be swept away. So I feel like you have a few toxic friends in your life, okay? I don't see a toxic partner. I don't see toxic family members. I'm seeing toxic friends in your case here. Okay, so you may have a friend group and there might be a few people in there that um, are toxic. So here I'm going to be using my crystals and my flowers to, and, and, to, and my, of course my intuition to bring you your reading here today. Okay, spirit guides, what do pile number three need to know about the toxic people in their life? It's funny that I got that right away with, um, okay. You see that? I'm going to pull that up here in view. So that's already showing me one person. And I'm getting a best friend here. This could be a best friend. This could be a sibling. That's how close this relationship is for you. Best friend or sibling. Okay, so spirit guides. Pile number three. Please show me what they need to know at this time. Okay, so I'm seeing two people already. Okay, there's two people in your life. <sighs> Give me one moment. I'm finding that there's an exaggerating and judgmental person in, in this two-bit crowd, okay? 
Ooh, okay, so someone here in your life, pile number three, um, uses non-toxic words with a toxic tone. I don't know if that rings a bell for you. I feel like the message you're trying to convey to you might be innocent enough, but the tone conveys so much more. So they're telling you something and they're, the tone of their voice is I'm hearing, it sounds like they're trying to be nice, but because of the tone of their voice, you know that they're not, that there's something wrong and you're kind of having to guess all the time. And this guessing game, oh my gosh, it's driving me crazy right now. I'm already feeling the energy of that. <sighs> it's kind of like when they ask you something like, so what did you do today? And that can mean different things depending on the way it is said. So if you ask them, hey, um, I don't know what the person, hey, Julie, how was your day today? And they, they, um, they respond as, I'm sure your day was better than mine. Mine was awful, just awful. Oh my, you know, just the, that tone, it's the tone, I'm getting a tone that they're using. And I feel like you're almost kind of having to always guess and have to sit there and console them and try to get to the bottom of it, bottom of it. And this person just will not um, just say it like it is. That's what I feel like. Oh my gosh, I cannot personally, I don't like those kind of games. I feel like that's, there's a lot of game playing in this relationship here. Like it's... Just a minute here. Spirit guides are letting me know this could be, uh, for some of you, it might be a partner, a love partner. Yeah, a love, so either a best friend, sibling, or a love partner for some of you, okay? So you're con I feel like you're constantly guessing, playing guessing games with this person. So I feel like, you know, you're, you're constantly having to, it's like this person expects you to be a mind reader. Okay. Like you're supposed to know what happened in their day and you're supposed to ask them, why didn't you ask me how my day was when you know, I feel, you know, I'm feeling like this and you actually don't know how this person's feeling because they never told you, but you're supposed to know this. I don't know how, right? So it's almost like they expect you to be a mind reader <clears throat> and that's toxic. Okay. And then I feel like this person will bring irrelevant detail into a conversation as well. So when you're trying to resolve something with them that is important to you, this person will bring irrelevant details from like five arguments ago just to throw you off course and, and turn it into something it's not. And the problem with this is that before you know it, you are arguing about something you did six months ago, still defending yourself rather than dealing with the issue at hand. Somehow, it just always seems to end up about what you've done to them. Okay, so this person feeds off of past arguments over past things and they bring it up to to the forefront of now it like, has nothing to do with right now about what you're talking about it has nothing but this all creeps in and now you've got this like this whole collage or this whole mess of other stuff that's already been come to a close but this person keeps bringing all of this up that is exhausting my friends this and i feel like this person has been for some of you, this might be a really good friend, okay? This friend that you've had for a very, very long time. And it's been a lot of work. There a lot of work to have in your life. Clear away old energies, pile number three. 
I feel like now, and I, I think that you've been feeling this way as well, where you're kind of like, this is exhausting. I can't do this anymore. This is too much. Why is this person in my life? Now is your time to really reevaluate the people in your life. And now is the time to clear away any old energy. You don't owe anyone anything. Okay? And I feel a lot of you are being held back by this person. Because they, um, there's a lot of jealousy. So anytime you get ahead, they get jealous and they'll tell you negative things so you don't move forward and they'll bring you back to that same place that you were at. That's what I'm getting here very strongly, that this person holds you back. They really hold you back. And no matter how good things are in your life, if you had a promotion or say you something really good happened, you bought a car. This person will get jealous and they won't show you the jealousy. Instead, they will show you what's wrong with that. No, how could you spend all this money? This was such a terrible thing to do. I'm not happy because you didn't tell me about it. And, you know, how are you going to... You know, all these excuses, they just spew out of this person's mouth. Okay, this person is never happy. No matter what you do. But they're, your, they're so close to you. They love you, right? Oh my gosh, it's just awful. I'm just getting this. It's almost like this fake personality. And I feel like this person talks these, one of these people talks behind your back. I'm getting that a lot. Like they complain about you. But then in front of everyone else, they act like you guys are best friends. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting that very strongly here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's this, that's what I'm getting. Like this fake person. And they're constantly in competition with you too. My friends, now's the time for you to clear that old energy away. If this person, if they don't bring positive energy to your life, why are they there? Okay, you need to clear that energy away now. Spirit guides are really saying, why is this person here? Why are you hanging on to this person or these people? Okay, there's so much better out there. Ooh. All right, let's see uh, what this card... Oh, pile number two had this card too. So yeah, I feel like <clears throat> this is someone that's been in your life, in your world for a while. This could be also um, someone you knew from a younger age. This could be, um, you know, a high school friend. Someone that's been in your life for a very long time. So you guys have uh, really been um, in each other's lives and grew up together right? Shared a lot, have been through many experiences together. Okay. And this could be a childhood friend. And I'm getting that it could be a sibling too. That's see sibling or best friend. And for some of you, it might be a partner. But I'm getting more strongly though, for majority of you, this is a sibling or a really old friend that you've been friends with for a very, very long time. You grew up together. You know each other inside out. But this person has always been jealous of you. And there you have it, my friend. You're getting eight of cups. So now is your time to clear away old energies and walk away from what no longer serves you. That's your confirmation here. Your spirit guides are letting you know again. You need to clear away old energies. What no longer serves you needs to be dumped out and walk away from it. Why are you hanging on to that? No, really, you need to ask yourself. You need to reassess in your mind and look at the reasons why you're still in a relationship with a toxic person. And I feel like you know that they're toxic. And... This is something that you've built over time with this person, but it's never been anything good because it's still under construction, I feel like. And it's it's kind of always been, it's, it's, it's just, yeah, you need to walk away from this relationship, pile number three. You really do. This person's never going to change. Okay, they've been like this for a very long time. Okay, this is either a sibling or a really good childhood friend. And yeah, I feel you try to do so much. You have so many ideas. And this per person is like, is the wedge. It's like they cut you out. Like they don't cut you out. It's, it's almost like you try to do things and then they bring you down. That's what I'm getting with, with the three of swords. 
This person puts a damper on things all the time. They're like a negative Nelly. Okay, it doesn't matter how good things are going, they'll put something negative into it and just kind of make, just sour the mood for whatever reason. This is just this person's personality and you don't need that in your life. You're trying to move ahead. You're trying to stay in a, you know, a good state of mind. Take care of your mind, body and soul. This person doesn't belong in it. Walk away, clear away old energies, my friends. Okay, get rid of that toxic energy. That doesn't need to be in your life anymore. Don't hang on to it. There is no loss there. Okay? So that is what spirit guides are asking you, pile number three. All right. So if this resonates for any of you, please comment below. I'd love to hear all about it. And if you're enjoying my content, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my videos, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish all of you a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching. Hello, those of you that chose card four and Amethyst, this is your reading. All right, so we've got have courage pile number four. Look at that beautiful card. Look at that wonderful, strong elephant. All encompassed with woods. It's almost like he's in a tree, in a tree, in the middle of a tree coming out. So have courage, pile number four, no matter what you're going through, have courage. All right, so I'm using this card deck here. This card is from Wisdom of Hafiz. And what I like to do is I like to use the description from the guidebook about this card and then tie the whole reading together with my intuition. I am going to be using my crystals and my flower petals uh, to bring you a message today, including my tarot cards. All right, so let's go to number 43, have courage. All right, everyone. Pile number four. I feel like you might be dealing with an authority figure. This could be a boss, a parent, someone that has authority, okay? Someone that is older. This is an older, wiser person that you're dealing with as far as toxic relationships, okay? So that's the energy I'm getting here already. Okay, it is better to have courage than to have regret. In the long run, one is far more costly than the other. Courage is open-heartedness. It takes to be present in the world, even while afraid. Having the heart to forgive when no one asks. Possessing the daring to try something new, even when afraid of ridicule or rejection. Embody the love of curiosity and compassion when everything in your world insists on smallness and predictability. These are the ways of the everyday heroine on your journey to an authentic, wholehearted life. All right, so you need to have courage and be bold. And I feel a lot of you are um, whoever this person is makes you feel small. It's like they don't let you be yourself or they push you down or, or, or tell you negative things about yourself when those negative things or comments are not true. Okay, so I feel like this person really brings you down. And no matter what you do, this person is just never happy. You're just it's Things you do are just not good enough for them. And you're constantly having to prove yourself. So whether this is um, someone older in your life, maybe this is a grandparent, parent. This could be a boss, someone in authority in your life. This could also be a partner. Okay? Um, but this is someone that um, is above, like, older, um, just in... That's, that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. Okay, and this person, you're, yes, that's what I'm getting. They'll regularly, they're, I can't even say the word. They'll regularly put you in a position where you have to choose between them and something else. And you'll always feel obliged to choose them. Okay, so toxic people will wait until you have a commitment, then they'll unfold the drama. Okay, and this is what I'm overall getting here for you with this person. And this person is never apologetic. Okay, so, and they're quick to judge. Quick to judge you. Oh, 
You have nothing to prove to anyone here. Pile number four. Okay, so whoever this person is, I feel like they really do make you feel small. That's the feeling I'm getting here. It's like you you go ahead and do things. And I feel like a lot of you, this might be at work where you do something grand and awesome. You put all your hard work and effort into it. And this person is like, what the heck? No. What you did is, you know, you don't get recognition. And you proved yourself to them time and time. And this person just doesn't acknowledge it. Okay, so spirit guides, pile number four, what do they need to hear? What is going on with this toxic person? How can they deal with them? Please show us today through these crystals. Oh yeah, this person is definitely, I feel like for a majority of you, this is somebody in an authoritative figure. This is either someone way older, um, like a grandparent, maybe a parent, a boss. This could be like an aunt, somebody that is way older. Um, I, I feel for some of you, this could be a partner, but I'm getting that this is a, a more mature, older person. And you're constantly having to prove yourself to these this this person. It's and I'm only getting one person here. There may be others, but this one that this one stands out the strongest here. Okay. And okay, so give me a second here. I'm getting something else. For some of you, this might be. I feel some of you may have gotten a new job and this could be a boss for some of you. Hmm. And I'm getting like they leave conversations unfinished. Like your conversation with this person doesn't even matter. Okay. They don't answer their phone. They don't respond to your texts or emails. It's like you don't exist. And, and this, this makes you feel small. It's kind of like they don't even recognize it's, I get this feeling of you don't even feel like a human being in their presence. Like you're nothing, like you're just invisible. And you're constantly, I feel like you play your conversations w with them over and over in your head, trying to guess what the where you stand in this person's life and then you're always you're kind of wondering what you did wrong you're kind of unsure what happened and you're not sure why um it's like you're you're left to figure things out all the time as far as okay so did did i do the job right they never gave me any feedback i did this was it right i'm not sure like i asked a question they never answered it and that's that's manipulation that is so toxic and no one deserves that kind of no one deserves that i'm sorry but that's so flipping rude i'm so i'm so sorry i it struck a chord with me because i had to deal with people like this in my life Okay, I, I, I've gone through the same thing and it's just so frustrating and so annoying. And I came to a point in my life where I just walked away from all of that. Um, here I am in front of you today for that reason, because I was so sick and tired of having to deal with this kind of stuff. You know, it's like having um, somebody tell you to take care of things, but then they... Th ugh. Man, um, <laughs> yeah, they just, uh, a lot of the times they're the ones that are creating the mess, I feel like. And then you pick up the pieces, you fix things, and then it's almost like you feel obligated to. Maybe some of you are managers in a place where you are having to deal with a lot of people. I'm feeling like there's a few people underneath you and this is a toxic boss for a lot of you. Or maybe you're an employee and it might be a manager that take advantage of you or make you feel less than. 
and you shouldn't be at this place. You should not be treated this way. No one should. That is so wrong. So you need to have the courage to speak up for yourself. Put this person in their place. And if this... Yeah, you need to have courage and stand strong in your own truth with this person. And I feel like they'll use like toxic words. They'll use non-toxic words with a toxic tone. Okay? Because they're so good at it. I feel like this is a manager or a boss for some of you. Right? Um, yeah, you just need to, I don't think you should be where you're at right now. I think you should look for something else. If you want my honest opinion, that's, this is my opinion only. It's not spirit guides telling you this right now. This is me personally. Spirit guides are asking you to have courage and stand in your strength. And if this no longer serves you, if this is making you feel small, yes, you need to walk away from this. Okay. And I'm seeing that if for those of you that are in a work situation, in a work setting where you're being made, made to feel like this, you need to walk away because I'm seeing another opportunity coming in for some of you here, which is totally not on topic here, but spirit guides are letting me know there's something else out there for you that where you're going to find more respect. Okay. You're going to be respected at this new, you need to start looking, start throwing your resumes out for those of you that are in a position where at work you're being treated like this. Okay. And th this person brings irrelevant details to situations or scenarios if you're trying to bring up a topic, um, especially if you need help in a situation, if you... It's like they bring it irrelevant things and then and then kind of it's almost like ghosting you or if you bring up a concern or something that happened you email or you do it in a professional manner this person almost is they ignore you and that's where that I feel like you're be you're being squished down like it's just not it's not nice this person's not nice it's like they don't, like, you all clearly don't matter to them in their life. They don't, they could give two, you know, whatever, cents about you. Like, you don't matter at all whatsoever to this person. Just so you're aware. So you know where you stand with these people. Okay, so this is an authoritative figure. And I'm sorry, I'm going on about the work thing. But I think for uh, uh, some of you, it is a work-related thing. And that's what I'm getting here. And this is, you know, this causes a lot of anxiety okay so now you're here in your mind kind of wondering like okay so now what's gonna happen like I'm so unsure I'm uncertain things are everywhere this gives you a lot of anxiety okay so stress worry it's constant you're constantly in your head trying to figure out okay so we had this conversation now like what was the answer from this person how do I move forward no one gave me an answer like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, and you can't even make a decision on your own because then you're going to be at fault. This person's going to make you feel. They're going to belittle you. That's the word I was looking for. They belittle you. Oh, whoa, I had a card just fall out. Hang on a second. I'm going to pull it off. Six of Cups. So this brings you to a point where there's a lot of thinking going on. There's a lot of worry. There's, and then you start looking at things, you know, what, what, what's going to happen if you leave? What's going to happen if you walk out of this situation? Have the courage pile number four. Don't worry so much. Don't have anxiety. There is something better coming in for you. Spirit guides are letting you know that right now. You need to walk away from this situation. Okay, don't worry about what will happen next. I feel like this has been engraved in you by whatever this person or people. Um, I feel like it's just one person. It's like a bully. This person's a bully. No one should be bullied. Like, what is with this person? What is their problem? Like, I feel like it's like they're out to get you. You might feel like they're out to get you, but I, I want you to know this is their personality type. 
and they make you feel like it's just you but I feel like if you I wouldn't even talk to other co-workers because that just that'll just start another whole nother thing so sharing those kind of things with co-workers is not a good idea then you go into office politics and all that that's just you know seek seek guidance or support for the, from those around you that are loved ones that you trust and there you go you got two of wands so you are looking for something else i feel you have been looking or wanting to look or thinking about leaving and i think now is your time to do that because spirit guides are confirming that there is a new opportunity available to you if you want it all you have to do is seek it out and it will come to you and you will be treated better but you need to move forward from this okay so you have to make a choice here pile number four have the courage maybe you're afraid like okay so if i walk away now will i find another job okay I've been in that situation before. I usually have a backup plan. So I start applying to places. And when I nail a job or get hired somewhere, then I give my notice. So I think a majority of people do that anyways. But start looking for something else now. If it's a job related thing, right? Or if it's a parent or something like that. Maybe taking a time out from them. Letting them know, you know, exactly how this person's treating you. Making you feel. And letting them know that you're going to take a time out for a little while. And see how you feel. Okay, because you matter. Your feelings matter. You shouldn't be treated this way. At all. And I just went totally deep into... Um, those of you that are at work, but that's kind of what Spirit Guides was asking me to let you know that it's, uh, for the majority of you, it is, it is work-related and you don't deserve to be treated like that. That is so wrong. No. Say no to that, my friends. All right. So if this reading resonated for you, please comment below. I would love to hear all about it. And if you're enjoying my readings, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a wonderful and beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.